So from a technical perspective, if you can, can you kind of go into what involves the process of taking an older Xbox game and transcoding it for Xbox One architecture? Uh, so I'm not, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a designer, so I'll, I'll go, I'll give the high level what that is. So uh, getting these games, you know, to be on the Xbox One, really it was stepping back and thinking about what it means to be, you know, at 1080p and 60 frames a second and making sure that the gameplay feels authentic um, uh, while also being, you know, smoother um, for a, a newer generation of consoles. So it's really a lot of evaluation of, you know, how does the physics carry over? Does it, you know, feel good? Do the button combinations still work? You know, are the things that people really care about about, um, are they still true to the original experience? And then also just making sure that that visual fidelity really, um, you know, is something that you can notice. So like you can see in the Halo 3 maps, for example, like in Guardian, the, the vines that hang down, they might have been blurry on the 360, but you can actually see all the individual strands, you know, on, on the Xbox One. And so it's a combination of things that make it feel authentic and then also just um, higher visual fidelity. Yeah, I only ask because I think a lot of uh, consumers really think that, oh, well, they have the game and they have the source code. They just, you know, drag it to a program and it pops out the Xbox one, but it's nothing like that. Right. No, absolutely. There's definitely a lot of work that goes into bringing games, you know, onto a new platform. Um, and, you know, it's 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 a challenge uh, every time that it's done. I think for this particular collection, you know, we've really just done everything we can to make sure that we deliver on that, you know, authentic experience and, um, you know, look for the stuff that the fans are really looking to make sure carries over. You guys actually have the very cool mode where you can switch between classic Halo and the new revamped 1080 Halo. What's that like? Yeah, so for Halo, for the anniversary uh, campaigns that we have included, Halo Anniversary and Halo 2 Anniversary, uh, you are able to use the, um, the button to switch back at any time. And with the power of the Xbox One, we can do it instantly now, which is a really nice, um, a nice bonus, basically, because uh, on the 360, it, there was actually a little bit of a delay between switching those. So uh, it's a lot of fun. And on top of that, for Halo 2 Anniversary, the audio all also transitions over when you hit that back button. So you get all the music and the sound effects, and you can really compare, um, you know, side by side or back to back, however you want to think of it. But uh, it's a really great experience, and it kind of gives you another way to really enjoy those levels. So to clarify, there's a lot of things that comes in this Master Chief Collection. Can you go over uh, quickly what comes with it? Yeah. So the Master Chief Collection is a massive offering that includes uh, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, Halo 4, and the remade um, Halo 2 Anniversary uh, multiplayer maps running on a hybrid engine. And then when does Master Chief Collection come out? Master Chief Collection comes out on November 11th, uh, so very soon here. And there's also the Halo 5 multiplayer beta coming out. How can people get access to that? Yeah, so the Halo 5 multiplayer beta will be accessible from the Master Chief Collection. Uh, so once the beta dates uh, begin, you'll see an option in the menu light up that allows you to go ahead and download and uh, get started on that.